Africa, a continent teeming with life, yet shrouded in mystery. Vast savannas stretch as far as the eye can see, punctuated by ancient mountains and lush rainforests. The very air vibrates with the pulse of nature, a rhythm unchanged for millennia. But beyond the well-trodden paths, beyond the tourist trails, lies a hidden world. A world where time seems to stand still. This is the Africa I sought, the Africa of remote villages and ancient traditions. Deep in the heart of the Namib Desert, nestled among towering sand dunes, lies a village unlike any other. This is the home of the Sand People, often referred to as Bushmen, considered to be one of the oldest cultures on Earth. Their village, a collection of simple huts constructed from natural materials, is a testament to their resilience and deep connection to the land. Pinpointing their exact location is a challenge, as they are nomadic by nature. Their movements are dictated by the seasons and the availability of resources. Yet their presence in this harsh environment is a testament to their remarkable ability to adapt and survive. Reaching this remote village is not for the faint of heart. The path is rugged and challenging, demanding both physical endurance and mental fortitude. The journey begins with a drive through an arid landscape where the road is more of a suggestion than a reality. It is a journey that requires time, patience, and a sense of adventure. As you prepare, you can feel the anticipation building, knowing that what lies ahead is not just a physical journey, but a voyage through time itself. The first leg involves navigating dusty roads by four-wheel drive, the sun beating down relentlessly. The vehicle kicks up clouds of dust, each mile taking you further away from the modern world and deeper into the heart of the desert as you venture deeper. The landscape transforms into a sea of sand, the dunes stretching towards the horizon like frozen waves. The vastness of the desert is both humbling and awe-inspiring, a reminder of nature's grandeur and the smallness of human existence. The final approach is often done on foot, guided by the sand themselves. These indigenous people have lived in harmony with this harsh environment for generations, their footsteps light and sure on the shifting sands. Their knowledge of the desert is unparalleled, their senses attuned to the subtlest changes in the environment. They can read the land like a book, interpreting signs that are invisible to the untrained eye. Every plant, every animal track tells a story. The journey is arduous, but the reward is a glimpse into a way of life that has remained virtually unchanged for centuries. In the village, you witness traditional practices and daily activities that have been passed down through generations. It's a rare opportunity to connect with a culture that has stood the test of time, offering insights into human resilience and the enduring spirit of the San people. The San people are the custodians of this remote corner of the world. Their history is intertwined with the desert itself, their traditions passed down orally through generations. Their knowledge of the land, the plants and the animals is extraordinary. They are masters of survival, their lives a delicate dance with nature. Their language, characterized by distinctive clicking sounds, is believed to be one of the oldest on earth. Their stories, told around flickering campfires, speak of their ancestors, their beliefs and their deep respect for the natural world. Survival in this harsh environment is a daily challenge. The San are expert hunters and gatherers. Their knowledge passed down through generations. They track animals, using their keen eyesight and deep understanding of animal behavior. Their weapons, crafted from natural materials, are simple yet effective. Gathering edible plants is equally crucial. The women possess an encyclopedic knowledge of the desert flora, knowing which plants provide sustenance and which harbor medicinal properties. Water is a precious commodity, collected from ancient wells and carefully rationed. The San people have a rich cultural heritage expressed through their rituals, music and storytelling. Dances are an integral part of their traditions performed for various occasions, from celebrating a successful hunt to honoring their ancestors. The rhythmic movements and haunting melodies are mesmerizing, transporting you to another time and place. Their crafts are equally impressive. Using natural materials like ostrich eggshells, leather and beads, they create intricate jewelry, tools and weapons. These objects are not merely functional, they are expressions of their artistic sensibilities and deep connection to their environment. The San people's economy is one of subsistence. They live in harmony with nature, taking only what they need to survive. 
There is no concept of money or material wealth as we know it. Their wealth lies in their knowledge, their skills and their strong community bonds. Trade does exist, often with other tribes or nearby communities. They exchange goods like crafted items, animal hides or gathered plants for necessities they cannot obtain themselves. This system of barter ensures a degree of interdependence and fosters relationships with the outside world. The price of progress, challenges and changes. The modern world, with its relentless march of progress, is encroaching upon the sand's traditional way of life. Climate change is bringing about unpredictable weather patterns, making their nomadic lifestyle increasingly challenging. The lure of modern conveniences and opportunities is drawing some away from their ancestral lands. Governments and organizations are grappling with how to preserve the sand's unique culture while addressing their basic needs. It is a delicate balance, ensuring they have access to education, health care and economic opportunities without compromising their traditions and way of life. Preserving the soul, the importance of cultural heritage. The San people's way of life, though increasingly fragile, holds invaluable lessons for humanity. Their traditions, passed down through generations, are a living testament to the resilience and adaptability of human culture. The San people have thrived in some of the harshest environments on earth and their knowledge of the land is unparalleled. Their deep connection to nature, their sustainable practices, and their strong sense of community offer a different perspective on what it means to be human. In a world increasingly disconnected from the natural environment, the San people's way of life serves as a crucial reminder of the importance of living in harmony with nature. Their sustainable practices, such as foraging and hunting, ensure that they take only what they need, leaving the environment intact for future generations. Their survival is not just about protecting a culture, it is about preserving a way of life that embodies harmony with the natural world. The San people's intimate knowledge of their environment allows them to live sustainably using resources wisely and ensuring the balance of their ecosystem. This way of life is a stark contrast to the often exploitative practices seen in modern society. Their stories, their traditions and their very existence serve as a reminder of the diversity of human experience. Each story, told by the San Elders, is a piece of history, a lesson in survival and a celebration of their rich cultural heritage. Their dances and rituals are not just performances, but are deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs and connection to the land. It is a reminder that progress should not come at the cost of cultural identity, and that the wisdom of indigenous communities is essential in navigating the challenges of the 21st century. As we face global issues such as climate change and environmental degradation, the sustainable practices and deep ecological knowledge of the sand people offer valuable insights. Their artwork and crafts, often created from natural materials, reflect their resourcefulness and deep respect for the environment. By preserving their cultural heritage, we not only honour their history, but also gain crucial knowledge that can help us build a more sustainable future. A journey of discovery, personal reflections. My journey to this remote village was more than just a geographical expedition. It was a journey of self-discovery. As I traveled through the winding paths and rugged terrains, I found myself peeling back layers of my own identity, much like the pages of my weathered journal. Each step I took was a step closer to understanding not just the world around me, but the world within me. Witnessing the San people's resilience, their deep connection to nature and their strong sense of community left an indelible mark on me. Their way of life, so intricately woven with the rhythms of the earth, taught me lessons that no book or classroom ever could. I saw how they thrived in harmony with their environment, using resources wisely and respecting the delicate balance of nature. Their communal spirit, where everyone had a role and everyone was valued, made me reflect on the often fragmented and individualistic nature of my own society. It made me question my own values, my own relationship with the natural world and my place in the grand tapestry of life. Sitting by the campfire under a canopy of stars, I pondered the simplicity and depth of their existence. The San people's lives are not cluttered with the distractions and material pursuits that often dominate modern living. Instead, they find joy and purpose in the everyday acts of survival and community. This stark contrast made me reevaluate what truly matters in life. Their story is a powerful reminder that true wealth lies not in material possessions, but in the richness of human connection and the wisdom gained from living in harmony with the earth. Sharing a meal with them, I felt a profound sense of belonging and contentment. Their celebrations, filled with music, dance and laughter, 
were not just events but expressions of their collective spirit and resilience. The close-up of hands working with natural materials symbolized their deep-rooted connection to the land and their resourcefulness. Their resilience in the face of adversity is a testament to the enduring spirit of humanity. Despite the many challenges they face, from environmental changes to external pressures, the San people continue to persevere with grace and dignity. Their smiles, even in the toughest of times, are a powerful reminder of the strength and resilience that lies within us all. This journey has not only broadened my horizons, but has also enriched my soul, leaving me with a deeper appreciation for the simple yet profound aspects of life. Beyond the horizon, a call to understanding. As we move forward, it is imperative that we remember the lessons learned from the San people and other indigenous communities around the world. Their voices deserve to be heard, their knowledge respected and their cultures protected. For in their survival lies the hope of a more sustainable and harmonious future for all. Let us strive to bridge the gap between the modern world and the ancient, to find ways to coexist and learn from each other. The future of humanity may very well depend on our ability to embrace diversity, respect traditional knowledge and recognize our interconnectedness with all living things.